Stan Gibalisco here to explain the meaning of the term avalanche effect in a semiconductor diode. What I'm showing you here is a graph of current through a diode as a function of the voltage across the diode. Forward voltage means that the diode is forward biased and will conduct if at least if it's in the case of a silicon diode if at least roughly 6 point uh, pardon me 0 0.6 volts or more appears that's with the negative polarity applied to the n type material and the positive polarity to the p type forward bias if we turn that around and apply the negative voltage or negative polarity to the p-type material and the positive polarity to the n-type, we have reverse bias. And normally a diode will not conduct when it's reverse biased, nor when it's forward biased at anything less than this 0 0.6 volts or so called the forward breakover point or forward breakover voltage. However, with any diode, if you apply sufficiently large reverse voltage, it will suddenly begin to conduct. And that is the avalanche effect. And the point, or the negative bias voltage at which that effect begins, is called the avalanche point. I'm not sure exactly why it's called avalanche effect, but it has to do with the behavior of the charge character uh, charge characters that's a good one charge carriers at the pn junction of the diode different diodes have different avalanche points and a specialized diode called the zener diode is designed to have a specific avalanche voltage or avalanche point and that can be used to take advantage or uh, can be used to advantage in all kinds of circuits particularly voltage regulators so that's what's meant by avalanche effect is a reverse bias voltage on a semiconductor diode that is so high that the diode conducts in the reverse direction avalanche effect Stan Gibalisco signing off until next time so long